Welcome to my channel, my name is Tony and today we are starting with a beginner friendly guide to setting up the perfect developer environment on Linux. Whether you are a programmer, a DevOps enthusiast or dive into tech for the first time, this video will set you up for a professional, efficient workflow for 2026. And let's jump in. First thing first, so let's choose a Linux distribution. For developers, Fedora is a fantastic choice. It offers cutting edge features, excellent reliability and solid community support. I have installed Fedora in my machine and we are going to work with Fedora, but if you are leaning more towards DevOps or preferring something more established, Ubuntu or PopOS are excellent alternatives. Today we will focus on Fedora as it's a powerful, secure and versatile option for all development and DevOps needs. You can download the Fedora ISO from the official site and if you need a step-by-step -step installation guide, search on YouTube and you will find videos about that. We are going to start with the terminal. So a productive terminal is the backbone of any developer's workflow and we are going to enhance our default terminal with the Z shell, Zsh and uh, oh my Zsh, okay? So Z shell builds upon the default bash shell, but offering more flexibility, better scripting and powerful features like enhanced uh, auto-completion and syntax highlighting. To install uh, Z shell on Fedora, we need to open the terminal and here I have opened my terminal and we need to run the sudo dnf. So sudo dnf and first I'm going to say update. Okay, everything is up to date. Now let's install the Z shell and we can say sudo dnf install and the package which is Z shell or ZH and I'm going to say dash Y. Okay. And now if I say ZH dash dash version, we have the Z shell uh, 5.9. Okay. Very good. Now we need to change the default shell because right now is a bash. Now to set the Z shell as uh, your default shell, we need to say change shell dash s and say dollar sign open and, and close and we're going to say which z shell hit enter we need to add the password and now we have shell is changed but now we need to close let's close this and let's open again the terminal and yeah this is the z shell configuration function for the new users. And here we are on the Z shell. Now I'm going to install OmaiZish. And OmaiZish is a framework for managing your Z shell configuration with themes and options. I'm going to paste the command in here. Okay, so you can go to Omai, search on uh, Chrome for our browser for the Z shell. And yeah, here we have the command. But it hit enter and clone in on my Z shell. And do you want to change your default shell to Z shell? I'm going to say yes because or yes is by default. Hit add the password. And yeah, we have now all my Zish here uh, installed as you can see. But what I want is also to install the power level tanker. So uh, to install that, I'm going to paste the command here sudo dnf install font awesome fonts and power line fonts first let's install the fonts we need for the power level tend to look more good add the password okay everything is good now let's download and install the recommended Neslo nerd font and also for this one i'm going to pass the command here first i'm going to make a directory in local share fonts and then I'm going to cd there and get the fonts. You can pause the video and see the script. So I am in the fonts directory. Let's cd in my home directory and now I'm going to paste this code to clone the power level tanker. Okay, now we need to update the shrc file and we don't have vim installed. So if I say vim, yeah, command not found. 
let's just first let's uh, because we're going to install new vim but first let's use the nano because nano is installed by default so nano dot rc open this and we need to change yeah the theme here to be power level then go slash power level then go now let's save and exit okay if i say now uh, source as we see yeah i make a mistake here not okay but then go so again scroll down and here say 10 go control x y enter and source and yeah now we are okay does this looks like a diamond yes we can say y lock y and upwards arrow yes is pointing at uh, one yes so hit one do all these uh, icons fit between the crosses yes so we can say why i'm going to choose one for lean unicode or ssi i'm going to choose one also here two for the eight colors show current time no and prompt hate one line yeah let's choose one line here compact if you want the icons you can choose icons i'm going to few icons two and uh, enable transient prompt i'm going to say yes and one also yes again here and we are good to go here now let's go and uh, preferences here we have use system font if you want but i'm going to choose not mono space i'm going to choose the meslo regular and 12 here select i'm going to install also z shell auto suggestion plugin and also the syntax highlights so i'm going to say here i'm going to paste the code git clone but you can search or you can pause the video and paste this one or you can search for the z shell auto suggestion and you can find on the browser also let's install the z shell at uh, syntax highlighting so let's paste that code also here and now let's update the z shell configuration file we need to go where is the yeah plugins here we have plugins we have only the git but i'm going to paste also the auto suggestion and the z shell syntax highlighting okay let's save and also here let's around the source and let's clean it now let's install uh, vim or neovim if you like i'm going to install neovim but you can install vim if you prefer so i'm going to say sudo apt uh, dnf update first okay now to install neovim on fedora we can say sudo dnf install neovim and i'm going to say dash y to accept all okay so complete and now let's verify the installation we can say nvim dash dash version and yeah we have the nvim here next thing what i'm going to do i'm going to create a directory in the config for the nvim and also a lua file so let's say make directory dash p and inside the not local but config slash and here i'm going to name it a uh, nvim and now i'm going to create and update a uh, init lua file in this directory so i'm going to say nvim in this config slash nvim i'm going to create the init dot lua file and in here i'm going to paste 
some code. So basic settings for the mouse, clipboard, expand tab, uh, tab stop, shift width, and so on. Also Vim CMD syntax enabled. And now we can say escape colon W Q and hit enter. And now let's configure the Git. By default, Git is installed. So if I say Git version, yeah, we have the Git version here. Git installed. I have open here the github.com and here is my profile. I just created this profile only to show you. So I have the Tony Jeppa code as a username. And also if you go to settings, we have emails here so you can find your email. So let's open the terminal and I'm going to say git config. I'm going to say dash dash global. And I'm going to say user dot name, which is my username here, which is Tony Jepper code. And I'm going to say Tony Jepa code here. And the same for the email. So just change not username, but just user email here. And here now we need to specify the email and paste that email here. Hit enter. I'm going to clean. And now if I say git config list, we can see the configuration or, or configuration. Now let's generate the SSH key and put that key in our uh, GitHub account. So let's create by saying SSH keygen. Okay, generate. I'm going to say dash T and I'm going to use the add two five five nineteen dash capital S and here we need to specify the email and I'm going to copy my email in here, hit enter and just hit enter. Now we can see that the keys are created. This one is the private key and this is dot pub, the public key. Now we can share this. This is safe to share this public key but we don't want to share this. So don't share the private key, okay? So we can clean and I'm going to run this to start the agent and add the key. Okay, I'm going to clean and I'm going to paste this code to add my private key. So identity added, code email. Okay, very good. Now let's copy the public key and paste on the GitHub account. I'm going to say cut and SSH uh, an ID at 25519.pub and this is my key. I'm going to copy this and copy it. Now let's go SSH, okay, and add a new SSH key. I'm going to say Fedora here, or you can name it what you like, and I'm going to paste that. Add the SSH key, and we have added now that key. And if we go back here and with the clean we can test now we have added correctly by saying ssh t git at github.com and we can say yes here permanently added the list of known host and we have hi Tony Zebra code you successfully authenticated but github does not provide shell access okay next step is to install docker and I have open the docker documentation here install using the rpm repository okay install using the rpm repository so let's copy this or we can use this one and let's go to terminal and paste that code sudo dnf config manager at repo from the repo file download docker and hit enter we need to add the password next install install the docker engine so let's copy this to install the latest version. Okay, yes. And the key was successfully imported. Okay, completed. Next step is to start the Docker engine. So let's copy this command as well and paste it right here. And let's say sudo system not enable, but I'm going to say status for the Docker to see and yes, it's active. Next step is the sudo docker run hello world just to see. So we can copy this command and paste it right here. And yeah, this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. And that's it all about this video to set up 
the perfect developer environment on Linux. If you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. All the best and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.